Want a cool custom subscribe button that shows up in all of your YouTube videos like this one? Let's make one together. So the image of your button needs to be three things. First, it needs to be a square. Second, it needs to be at least 150 by 150 pixels. And third, the file size needs to be less than one megabyte. This is tiny compared to the rest of your video, and it kind of shows as like a watermark in the bottom right corner, which is perfect because we don't want it to take away from the main show. People usually add logos that have transparent backgrounds, and that looks really cool. You can see what my friends James and Mark did over here. Either way, you probably don't wanna use something that has too many colors or too many words because the button is super small. If you already have an image, great. You could skip ahead and I'll show you exactly how to upload your image to your YouTube channel. But for me, I don't have an image or a logo, so I'm gonna create one from scratch using Canva, a free graphic design tool. Instead of doing a logo, I'm actually gonna create an image that has a call to action on it, just so there's a constant reminder as people are watching the video that's asking people to subscribe. So basically what I wanna create is just an image that has the YouTube logo and the word subscribe on it as big as it can get and that's it. So here in Canva on the top left, I'm gonna go ahead and click on create design and then I'm gonna put custom dimensions, 400 by 400 pixels and then hit create design. And then here you'll see it's just a square, which is perfect. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is put this on brand by adding my purple on it. So I'm gonna hit elements and then hit this square to change the background color. So I'm gonna adjust it so that it fits. And then I'm going to change the color. I have my code here that I just copied. Um, so it looks like that. And then I'm gonna go to photos and then search for the YouTube logo, which is just here in Canva, which is great. So I'm gonna have it be like here-ish. And then I'm gonna hit text on the left so that we can add this, the word subscribe. So I'm gonna have it be in caps. Let's change the font a little bit. Um, we want it really big. We want it centered. Um, I'm gonna change the spacing to be a little bit more thin, like here. Um, and this doesn't really matter because it's all gonna be on one line. Um, yeah, so like that, but I want it to be white. So something like that, okay? Uh, the other thing though, is that this purple and red is like super contrasty and it's like hurting my eyes. So I'm actually gonna change the transparency of this logo so I'm gonna drag it down probably to about here. You can see it, it match, it actually looks pink now, so it kind of looks cool, but I don't, I want the, the play button to stand out a bit. So I'm gonna go to elements um, and the play part is just a triangle. So I'm just gonna put in a triangle on top, say like this, um, and it's white obviously. So I'm gonna change the color. And there you go. So it would be something like that. When you're finished, you can click on publish in the top right and then hit download. And that'll download the file to your computer. Now, let me show you how to upload your image to YouTube. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to YouTube, top right corner, hit your profile icon and get to your YouTube studio. And then towards the bottom left, you're gonna see settings. Go ahead and click on that. And then you're gonna hit channel and you'll see these three tabs towards the top. We're gonna hit branding. And this is where you can add your video watermark. So I was already testing this, which is why um, this is already here, but I'm gonna replace that with the file that I just created with you guys, which is this one, I believe is the most updated one. Um, so I'm gonna select that one. And here towards the right, now this is the preview, it's showing the same thing because I basically made the same file, but. Towards the right, you can display when your watermark shows up on your video. Uh, you could have it appear at the end of your video, so it'll appear at the last 15 seconds of your video. Um, you can have it appear during a custom start time at some point in your video, or you can have it display throughout your entire video, which is what I want. And this is great because this is a one-time thing for this watermark to show up on your entire video for all of your videos on your channel. It's just a one-time thing that you have to do. So when you're finished, go ahead and hit save. And then now we're gonna go to our YouTube channel to make sure that it worked. So I'm gonna head on over to my channel 
And um, as you can see, here's this video, uh, the channel trailer or the feature video that I have on my channel. The subscribe button's right here, it's on brand. Um, you can see the word subscribe and the YouTube logo. And when you hover over it, um, people can subscribe. Now, for me, it's not letting me do that since this is my channel, but you guys would be able to see it on your end. Just so you know, when you're testing your button, it really only works on desktop, unfortunately. It displays on mobile as a watermark, but it's not clickable. So if you're testing it on your phone and you're clicking and nothing's happening, that's why. Now that we're going through all this trouble of branding our YouTube channel, let's make sure that your channel banner is also on brand. So if you haven't created a custom channel banner for your YouTube channel, go ahead and check out this next tutorial. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.